Hi there, it's Mr. McAuliffe, and welcome to Lesson 6-6, solving, linear, or solving Systems of Linear Inequalities. Part 1, today we're going to talk about what the systems are, and I have a definition right here, same as you'll see in your book. It says, a system of linear inequalities is a set of two or more linear inequalities containing two or more variables. The solutions of a system of linear inequalities consist of all of the ordered pairs that satisfy all the linear inequalities in the system. So we're going to talk about uh, things similar to what we talked about earlier in Chapter 6 with the systems of equations, but we're going to talk about them in terms of inequalities and how we've shaded them, and we're going to look for things specifically in, in the shaded regions. So in order to see if an ordered pair is a solution to the system of inequalities, we are going to need to do a similar thing that we've done in the past, and that is plug those coordinates in. So we want to, on your note-taking sheet, plug the coordinates in to all the linear inequalities and solve to see if they make the statements true. So let's take a look at example A, same one that you have on your note-taking sheet. And the first thing we have to do is make negative 3 less than or equal to a negative 3 times a negative 1 plus 1. And we're going to solve this step by step. So negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. And we want to see if this statement is true. It's negative 3 less than or equal to 4. And yes, it is. So, so far, so good. We have to test it, though, with both equations. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say negative 3 is less than 2 times negative 1 plus 2. 2 times negative 1 would be negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 would give me 0. And negative 3 is still less than 0. So that checks and that checks. So we can say, yes, it is a solution to this system. With the second example, we have negative 1 and 5 for our coordinates. So I'm going to plug those in and get 5 is less than negative 2 times negative 1 minus 1. And I want to go ahead and do my math. So negative 2 times negative 1 equals 2. 2 minus 1 equals 1. So is 5 less than 1? No. So right away, I don't have to go any further. If it doesn't satisfy one of the inequalities, then it's not going to satisfy the entire inequality or the entire system. So no is the answer. So no, this wouldn't be a solution to that set. And that's the first part of uh, Lesson 6-6 six, six with uh, identifying whether or not we have ordered pairs that are solutions.